All right. Um, I found this video Nostradamus Nostradamus's predictions for 2022 sound pretty bleak. But we're nearly at the end of it, so let's see if I can. He was right. Unless like he might not be, and then everything's gonna happen in the next couple of months. But let's see what he said. Let's go. Want to know what kind of potential calamities could be looming for next year? One famous astrologer has you covered. Keep watching to learn about the bleak predictions Nostradamus had for 2022. For centuries, the more superstitious corners of popular culture have been obsessed with the prophecies of a 16th century French astrologer and soothsayer known by his Latinized name, Nostradamus. Four and a half centuries after their publication, the soothsayer's quatrains, or poems with four stanzas, are still analyzed and debated. Believers say at least some of his predictions have come true, such as poems that supposedly predicted the Great Fire of London or the death of Henry II of France. Skeptics point out that prophecy is an inexact science, and that Nostradamus's writings are vague enough that you could look at some of his poems and tie them to just about anything, even unruly apprentices. I'm going to leave now. Wait! What? Okay, now go. Okay, bye! Bye, Apple stock. Regardless of your take on the seer's purported prophetic abilities, it does appear that his poems mention a few things that, looked at in the right context, we may have to deal with in 2022. Part of one Nostradamus quatrain appears to reference food shortages, and it's a rather bleak prediction that ends with cannibalism. So high the price of wheat, that man is stirred, his fellow man to eat in his despair. There have been famines throughout the world on several occasions since Nostradamus wrote those words, so he could have been talking about anything or nothing. However, it does bear noting that several factors are working together right now that could be pointing to food shortages, if not outright famine. Inflation is becoming a problem in the US and Europe. Europe in particular is dealing with the economic repercussions of Brexit and supply chain issues. This has all at least partially been caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and has led to food shortages in some places. So far, these food shortages have been more of a giant inconvenience than an actual famine. However, the global supply chain issues are far from being solved, and things may well get worse before they get better. Two other bleak predictions from Nostradamus are far worse than just food shortages and famine. Indeed, two of his prophecies could point to the worldwide extinction of humanity and possibly a slow, painful, and gruesome end for at least some of us. These dark predictions come from this quatrain. For 40 years, the rainbow will not be seen. For 40 years, it will be seen every day. The dry earth will grow more parched, and there will be great floods when it is seen. This poem could be interpreted as a prophecy about a worldwide drought brought on by nuclear winter. Nostradamus, what are you seeing? War. In the cost of war. Meanwhile, another line, Fire do I see that from the sky shall fall points to an asteroid impact and the resultant effects on human life. Indeed, potentially cataclysmic asteroids are zipping past Earth all the time, and it's a matter of when, not if, one capable of causing a mass extinction event will strike. For now, however, NASA is not predicting any major asteroid impacts or near misses for 2022, but they are keeping their eyes on a space rock that's expected to be coming a little too close for comfort in 2029. While wars, famines, and meteor impacts were all things long before Nostradamus had put pen to paper, there's another possible threat that he couldn't possibly have seen coming, the rise of artificial intelligence. For decades, the idea of computers and robots gaining sentience and wreaking havoc has been a staple of science fiction plots, but Nostradamus may have seen it coming centuries earlier. The prophet wrote, The new sage with a lone brain sees it, by his disciples invited to be immortal, which could be a warning about AI. Maybe it's no coincidence that everyone's favorite real-life comic book supervillain Elon Musk has lately branched out into making robots. Meanwhile, relying too much on AI has already caused real-life problems, such as passengers of Tesla's not actually driving their cars and instead relying on its self-driving feature, which, for the record, is neither foolproof nor intended to be used as a replacement for a human driving a car. This valuable but misused feature has already led to fatal accidents. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about weird history are coming. Well, to be fair. He could be right about a fucking... Russia could nuke. Russia did say that they're gonna fucking... Bomb us and flood us. And he did predict that a great flood will come. From whatever the fuck he said. Maybe.
Although that would be bloody unfortunate. If I'm honest. Mm. I also have to watch some more of this matey's history things. I've watched a lot of his music videos, but I have to watch some of his history ones. Good channel. Um, the asteroid did actually come close to us last year. As well. Not an asteroid, a fucking something. A moon or a fucking something. But then, to be fair, it's very vague things that you can apply to shit. But, yeah. Let me know what you think. That's the reaction. Sweet.